Hello, and welcome to Zag Season, a Gotham Production Studios original podcast. I'm Raul. I'm Autumn. I'm Danielle. I'm Dominique. And we are here to debate our office's most unpopular and completely meaningless opinions. And my Zag is this. Everyone says that streaming is killing the movie theater business. While that seems to be true, I suggest that streaming can save the movie theater business. And all we have to do is start playing some of these shows, which are incredible, in the movie theaters. I want to see the season three premiere of The Mandalorian at an AMC, or also preferably my local theater. Uh, (laughs) So many of these shows, these like Apple TV+, Plus. Netflix, what I mean, Netflix is already putting some of their movies like Glass Onion had a little theatrical run, very short, wasn't didn't run for like two, three months. Just show me the Mandalorian for like one week in an AMC. Autumn, what's up? A lot of artsy shows do have premieres in theaters. Um, the OA had their season two premiere in oh, theaters. Really? Yes. And they uh did um like very small theaters, mm. like only in LA. And it was only like three of them, nice. which I was pissed about because <laughs> okay. I wanted to go. But good news, your dream can be a reality. Yes. <laughs> I think that that's a good point. Also, like maybe to bring up here is that sometimes these like limited release things happen only on the coasts. Like you get it mm-hmm. in New York and LA and that's it. And what I'm saying is like, I want, you know, AMC has theaters throughout the country, Regal, whatever, like Disney, just you already send movies. You already talk to the theaters on like theatrical runs, just, like just throw the Mandalorian in there. Apple, you already do this. Like, what's the holdup? Everybody wins. I think the theaters can just carve out this space. This this episode is only going to play for a week. I just watched The Last of Us premiere a couple weeks ago. And I watch it in a room full of dudes, and we all would have gone to see that in a movie theater. Any any thoughts? I kind of prefer to watch things on streaming instead of going to the theaters, and it's only because when you go to AMC, they play that pre-movie thing with Nicole Kidman, <laughs> and she's like, out here, That's everything feels yep. real. <laughs> and I'm like, part. shut the f- up nicole kidman <laughs> that's she, why i go she brings me so much rage <laughs> okay <laughs> i agree with you donnie like, it's, it's okay like, to Bonnie, cry it's so cute no so, i hate her i hate her in her stupid <laughs> sequin dress mm. jeez <laughs> oh, no. and also it costs a lot of money yeah but mostly the nicole kidman thing Well, okay yeah do we pay the same if it's a tv show well i would think depending on how long it would be right so, mm-hmm. like, if you're in the theater for, like, for instance, if this was, like, a House of Dragon episode, which are, like, over an hour, maybe there's, like, mm-hmm. some sort of ticket price pyramid a thing. A tier system. A tier system. That's yeah. what I was looking for. Yeah. And then we could go from there. Mm-hmm. But I just, I agree with you. I would like to watch them in the movie theater. I don't really have anything else to say besides that. I think that would be a great idea. Yeah, I definitely can't f- flesh out the entire business model for this <laughs> uh, zag, <laughs> but I think, number one... There's ways to supplement too. You could like the Mandalorian. You we could play the season finale of last, you know, season, and then roll right into the the new episode, so that we're I'm getting like an hour's worth of content instead of just thirty minutes or whatever it's going to be. And maybe there's something where you know there are people who don't have Disney Plus. Maybe they pay full price. Maybe they you know New York City tickets tend to be about fifteen dollars, um, something like that. Uh, maybe they pay full price, and if you have a Disney Plus membership, maybe you pay twelve or some or ten, Ooh, something like that, idea. where you get like a discount because you are a mm-hmm. subscriber to the streaming service. Yeah, uh, if that's the case, you know, AMC in particular does five dollar Tuesday tickets. So don't tell me that you can't do this, like. <laughs> I guess the streamers maybe don't really want to do that, but I'm not talking about running every single episode every single week. I'm talking about, you know... Premieres and finales? Premieres, finales, like the big ticket ones like The Last of Us or The Mandalorian or other things that are not only for dudes who play video games and love Star Wars. There's plenty of content out there. I have a potentially stupid question. Is AMC the theater and AMC the channel the same company? Oh, 
Oh, that is a wait, question that I have. I have no have. idea. Because I, I was know. thinking about like when The Walking Dead was big and they mm. had a mid season finales because they're nuts. That, was, yeah. Yeah. that would have been <laughs> a, a fun theatrical experience. And I would think that if they were going to do something like that, if they are the same company, then they would use their own content, content their own, yeah. first. I almost, I almost want to like my gut feeling is that they are different, but it would, but I don't know. Like the I'm font's different, sure. yeah, but I'm, I think this. I'm pretty sure that they're different. Yeah, that's a good point. I think AMC the channels like American movie classics, mm-hmm. something like that, and then I don't know what AMC stands for with the theater company. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is something that we could Google, but. None of us is at a computer right now. We are podcasting, so. She has a phone. I could look it up. Is let's it the let's same leave it to the listeners. Yeah. I believe okay. in our listeners. Okay. You guys Do look it up. research. <laughs> um, are there any titles that you guys would love to see in the theater? I would like love to have seen the season premiere of House of Dragon in a theater. You're a big House of Dragon fan. I'm stand. obsessed, and I just think that it would. it's the type of show that the production value is so high that, like, it would be worth it. And I feel like they could even do something like sort of like a 3D release in theaters. I would Mm -hmm. 100% pay for that. And honestly, with COVID and everything, I think it's like more of like a social thing. Like, you know, used to be able to go out and do things. I know obviously it's Used to be able to go to the movies. No, but like (laughs) without being scared, you're going to get a disease, not disease, a virus. (laughs) Virus. Um, But yeah, no, I think think that would be really cute and it would be something for like people just to relate and you can, you know, go by yourself and you found other people who like the certain genre of TV that you like and maybe you make friends that way. That's cute. That would be, that's like my optimistic look at it. Um, I don't think I watch any TV shows that would be ideal for this. <laughs> None? <laughs> like I spent this you, weekend. You wouldn't go watch New Girl in the I theater? I spent this weekend watching that 90s show. Oh, did you okay. like it? Okay. I did. I was cute, but okay. that would not be good. <laughs> no, I don't know that AMC. sitcoms are necessary yeah, so, on the... But I agree, it sounds fun. Okay. <laughs> if Bob Iger is listening, which obviously, uh, this is hey, free. <laughs> this is this is a free idea that I'm giving you. So many of these shows, The Last of Us, HBO's biggest show right now, premieres Sunday night. No one's going to the movies on Sunday night, right? So if your show goes live at 9 p.m. on Sunday night, at like every AMC in New York City, I promise you those will sell out and you will make a ton of money and there will be people like waiting for the premiere in line outside. You generate buzz. You get a whole bunch of people who might be interested in the show but don't have HBO Max and then they go home and guess what? They got to subscribe. What are we doing? That's a really good point. These shows are more cinematic than ever. I think we're all in agreement with you. Yeah, God. I, I don't want to be. I don't. I don't have anything else to say. All right. Well, I guess this has been uh, one of my best ideas ever, <laughs> and also Zag season. So I am Raul. I'm Autumn. I'm Danielle. I'm Dominique. Thank you for listening, Bob Iker. <laughs> 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 <laughs>